Hello, so today's video is going to be about how to get rid of distractions and how to create a clear space and clear mind through minimalism. I was working on another video and one that is pretty long, but I noticed that I wasn't feeling myself completely because I had a lot of distractions going on and I thought let's go and make a video about the distractions because that's what's on my mind right now. And so I wanted to make a list with how to get rid of distractions, where to pay attention at, so that it, it gets clear in my head again. Distractions can really sneak in and, and it's important to be aware of them. Of course we cannot do it perfect and there are moments in which they are more prevalent and there's not that much we can do about it but I thought let's go through this list and think about how to get rid of distractions as much as possible. So I'm very sensitive in general and also for sensitory things and I noticed that my environment and actually everything around me affects me more than I wish that it does and for me actually the only option is to literally have as little as possible, almost nothing around me except for some bare minimals and things that I really love. Another thing that really helps me is to have things in a similar color and for me the color white works the best because because my walls are white and I feel I feel like things blend in very easily and it's easy for me visually so this gives me a feeling of rest and I also have blocked my windows as much as possible without losing the light from coming in so I use curtains and I also have these special opal stickers so that I'm not distracted by what's happening outside of course I do this because it's quite busy here. If I would have a quiet view it would not be necessary and I would enjoy a nice view but in my situation this works the best. So usually those things already take up a lot of my distraction. I noticed that my environment has a very high effect on me but then there are these kind of mental distractions or emotional distractions and those are things that I think I have to do. I noticed that mostly they come from external factors and some of those factors there's not that much to do about it or not that much to do about it in the short term because life just acquires some distractions and some things you have to do like going to the dentist and you know just daily things just normal life things but I do notice that whenever I feel very pressured or nervous that that I have to rethink my values and the things that I'm doing and whether they're really important for me or or if it's my ego that's kicking in and because usually when I do things that I really value I don't feel pressured by them at all but when I do things that I feel like I need to be doing in order to be perceived as good or even successful by others I notice that when I'm striving those kind of goals usually I feel very overwhelmed and distracted saying yes to opportunities that I actually only take for external reasons and I feel really distracted by those kind of things and so it's important to try to be honest about those things and I know that I don't strive for a fast life and having to do things all the time. I don't strive for having a lot of different projects going on and having major responsibilities on my plate. For me that was never sincere or true to my heart. Not, not in, in a working sense. I can see myself having a lot on my plate in other kind of projects like some sort of animal rescue things. I don't think I would mind that at all or because I would be doing something I really valued. So it's important to not get trapped in the cycle of being too busy because usually when that happens it's quite difficult to get out of it again. It's such a strange trap. Once you get into the rat race it just keeps itself alive. The more busy you are the less time you have to step out of it. So usually what I do then is 
I just take a deep breath, just write my priority down and, and a couple of things that need to be done. And usually this will give me a bit more peace of calm and what also helps me is to clean my home entirely and if I notice that things have kind of fouled up somewhere, I try to get rid of that as well. Usually I notice that being busy goes hand in hand with accumulating stuff again. I feel like that's just part of the rat race somehow. Somehow being busy makes you buy more things or get more things into your home, get less things done. So I take a moment to go through things, to clean everything, to make my space clean and organized and usually that already works good for my head too. And those are kind of my things, I think. Especially if I am a bit stressed about things, then doing a physical activity feels the best, so cleaning up feels very good then. Even though it might seem as if there is no time to do that, it's usually the best for me to keep moving and to get everything nice, clean, clear. And after that, there is time to do the thinking part. And I'm very curious to hear what works the best for you to get rid of distractions and how often you get caught up in them, or maybe even never. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.